Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a top 10 of my favorite G.I. Joes in my collection. A bunch of these figures are customized, and my favorites may also be a bit surprising. This video is suggested by one of my subscribers. Here are my top 10. So number 10 is this custom Desert Soldier I made. Yeah, I just uh, thought it was a cool looking figure. I've had him for a while, I've used him a lot. Definitely tell he's a lot of wear. Yeah, just pretty cool figure. It's one of my custom ones on this list. At number 9, we have another custom figure. This one is a custom World War II Marine. I found this figure at a flea market for like $6, so put it in this uniform. It was originally a World War II Marine Mortarman, which is pretty cool, so just one of my favorites I have. Number 8 is the Alpine Assault figure. This is not actually a custom figure, although I am missing the grappling hook the figure originally came with. I just always like this figure I have for multiple years, so he's always on one of my most wanted ones, and I just got him recently, so pretty cool. Number seven is my G.I. Joe Constabulary Policeman. His uniform is actually Soldiers of the World brand, which is a very good brand, but he's not a custom. Well, kind of is, but not really. So, yeah, well, he's one of my favorites, and he's on this list. Number six is a Trouble at Prosperity Bank Policeman. I've always liked this police uniform. It's not the most realistic police uniform, but I've always liked how it looked. So, just got him recently as well, so had to put him at number six. One of my favorites. At number five, I have the Keysan Marine. This figure is technically customized, but the base figure is a Saving Keysan G.I. Joe uh, Battle Gear Pack, which is one of my favorite packs. Um, he's a custom backpack and uniform, so I guess he counts as a custom, but he is one of my favorites. I'm moving on to number four. So at number four, we have the USMC Vietnam War figure. I've customized this figure with a Jungle Commando set, which goes very well with it. So I wouldn't consider his figure a custom. He's definitely one of my favorites. I've seen him in a lot of my videos. As a matter of fact, he's on the cover of my YouTube channel. So definitely one of my favorites. Moving into number three, we have the World War II European feeder figure. I've wanted this figure for a very long time. Just uh, last year, I was able to get him. One of my favorite figures. He may seem generic, but one of my favorites. Just I don't know why. I really like the shirt and the uniform. Moving on to number two. At number two, I have one of my newest figures, the Hotshot Crew. Some of my favorite figures, the uniform and everything is super cool. He's in one of my upcoming stop motions, one of the main characters. Some of my favorite figures overall. Here are my honorable mentions from left to right. We have the Australian ODF, a customized SOG Marine from the Vietnam War, another customized Vietnam War figure, a Marine M60 Gunner, the Trouble at Coyote Crossing police officer figure, and then the last one is the Siege of Seoul from G.I. Joe. These are my honorable mentions, and this is number one. And my number one figure is my custom Army Ranger figure. I got this figure way back in 2019, as he has seen so much use. It is evident just by looking at the picture. He is my favorite because he was one of my most used G.I. Joes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, then consider watching some of my other videos. And if you want to, you can also subscribe. See you in the next one.